I don't know. Do I wear it? Do I not wear it? Do I like wrap it around? Do a little wrap around? Maybe nothing? No, definitely need it. Definitely need the scar. Hi, beautiful. Today we're gonna be watching some people attempt to remove hair color from their hair at home with all different kinds of methods. Color corrections like these are one of the most difficult things to do to your own hair. So good luck to everybody I'm about to watch. It's definitely gonna be a disaster, 100%. But hey, maybe I should be optimistic. I've been practicing optimism lately, so why don't I say I'm optimistic about the results and it may come out good, but we shall see. Up first, we have a video by Maya Harrison. I've had dark hair for eight months. I peekaboo for six months and I think it's long enough. I'm gonna bleach all my roots with 10 volume developer, do the low and slow method, because then I'm gonna do a color remover, 20 volume on all of the dark, part of my hair because that is brown permanent dye. I think it was like a level five. Oh my she has so much going on. Whew. Sorry, let's recap, love. She's got literally black color in the back of her head. She got roots. She's got purple on the front. She's got blonde on some of the ends. Oh boy, is this a color correction? And oh boy, is this a disaster waiting to happen? Did I scare you? Whew. That was fun. She's gonna go 10 ball on the roots, which is fine. I don't really ever do that, but you can do it. It's gonna be very, very slow, but why not? And then she can do the color move on the ends. I don't know if they're, she's doing it at the same time or not, but we shall see. And I'm interested and intrigued. I actually think this is a good plan. Okay, so far I'm liking the technique. She's starting in the back of her head and working her way up. Great way of doing it. She seems like she has a little bit of hair knowledge. Can you kind of see that that line is my root and then this is all the color why i'm taking the bleach out like as far as i am okay and i lied and we're going way back down home what the fuck is that? That is not her root. That is like mi almost midsections. Why are we going so far down? I thought we were only doing our root right now. I'm confused. I don't know what's happening right now. And also her section just got bad at the top. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> ah! It's like all swivelly. Let's make it straight across. All right, just straight. I don't do a lot of things straight, but I do do my parting straight. So you can too. <laughs> At least we did all the roots. Change of plan. I'm not gonna use the color remover because I've still got literally all of this bleach left. Is that about a 20 volume developer because I mixed 30 and 7 together, maybe 15. I'm just gonna bleach the brown. If I also accidentally bleach some of the pink, I'm not that bothered. Oh, so we are not doing the color remover. We are doing full on bleach in the back, which like is fine. I mean, you can do both. Color remover probably would have been better for this situation if she already has pre-lightened hair underneath the darkness. I don't know what she has underneath there, so I can't really say, but color remover is usually the first thing I go to if it's blonde underneath the darkness, you know, cause you will get all that darkness removed. Let most likely with a color remover and you won't have to use bleach, which is just a little bit better for your hair. Neither are great for your hair, by the way, but one of them is better. And this method of application is wild. <laughs> Whoa, um, that is the largest fucking section I've ever seen. Take that in a third and do it like that. Like did too much hair. So this is the moment that I realized that I had missed a spot with the bleach. So I basically mixed up more bleach to fill in that missed spot. Why are we always missing spots, you guys? If we just took longer on the initial application, we would have missed so many spots in the first place. Just get a mirror that folds or just use your phone. Uh, I don't know, figure it out, but just look at the back of your head while you do it. And the front, actually, all of it. People will be missing everything. And also the hair was still way too dark. So I knew I had to bleach again. I'm scared of round two. I also mixed up the Schwarzkopf Bond Enforcing Color Remover. I love this stuff. I wanted to try it out on the red part of my hair because it was still very, very vibrant. I only mixed it with a seven volume developer because it was a semi-permanent color. And to be honest, I didn't expect it to be that difficult to get out. Yeah, I really had no idea the hardships that were coming. Oh no, <laughs> not the hardships. <laughs> Don't apply it on wet hair. Unless you're trying to do a bleach bath, then do wet. But you're diluting the formula even more than what you already did and it wasn't strong already. So I would just recommend not having your hair wet. Gotta have that dry in order for it to really get in there and just really shake things up and get that color out. Those poor front pieces are never gonna be blonde again. Neutralize with some green. At that point, just do that. 
yeah i'm concerned that that the pink is just some so so pigmented still this all looks pretty dark still so i don't know how it's gonna go oh there is a lot going on on that head a lot of foils and a lot of bleach and i honestly do like when people apply a lot of bleach because if you don't it's not gonna do anything the pink in the front is not looking too promising and neither is the black in the back i can't believe this lightened better than the semi-permanent red i thought that level four brown was gonna be way harder to get out than the semi-permanent color but i was wrong so we're here we color removed we bleached we bleached again i'm gonna be bleaching out all of the still very vibrant pink oh sh oh no <laughs> I'm just gonna try get rid of the pink and go blonde. I'm gonna use crazy color remover. I don't know yet what volume developer. I'll decide in a minute. But yeah, I'm gonna use 30. She's using 30 volume. Guys, we're in for a treat. Girl, just admit you have no idea what you're doing. I'm so scared of her putting 30 volume on her hair right now. Oh no. Uh... I've ran the colour remover through all of the brightest parts of my hair. I don't know if it's working. I suppose it's not had long yet though. I'm gonna wait up to 30 minutes. I'll wait 25 minutes. I don't know, but I'm gonna wash it out. Since my hair was at about a level 8, I chose to use the 8M that I had in. F <laughs> the pink did not come out anymore. Damn it. That pink is not budging, but you can neutralize it with green. Green and red are opposite on the colour wheel. Even though this isn't red, it is close to red. So I would probably use green um because i just thought that it would probably be the best option i couldn't go any lighter than a level eight because my hair was not light enough to take that aiden you got so much warmth going on here you gotta cancel that out with some purple and all of the toners that i had in were again way too light like t18 wouldn't have done anything so i opted to just use box dye and i know that box dye has a really high developer in it that's why everyone hates it so much with how bright that pink still was i kind of needed that high developer to lift as well as deposit the colour so I didn't mind using it. The dye's been in for 25 minutes. Wait, what? What happened? Holy sh how the f did she get that? How did that happen? It actually looks really decent, like really, really decent, like almost really good. It's not bad. I do think I'm gonna be cutting my hair soon, just to make sure that, you know, any damaged ends are cut off. But I think that this is actually quite cute. I'm pretty happy with it. My hair isn't that damaged either. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than it is. And it's not, it's like, it's okay. I mean, I can run my hands through it pretty easily. Considering I got bleached, what, twice? I did two color removers and when I dyed it with, I don't even know what volume developer, you know, with box dye, it's still on my head. I didn't really lose any. I've had a tiny bit of breakage, but not really lost any hair. And I think it's cute. I still can't get over it. I've had dark hair for so long. It's so weird seeing me with light hair. Oh my god. This girl is the luckiest person in the world. How did she end up with that? That looks incredible. I don't know what just happened, but I'm shocked. Up next, we have a video by Bridget Turco. We are going to get rid of the green. I have no issue with it. I thought I wasn't going to like it when I put it in, and then I actually really liked how it looked. It was kind of edgy, kind of an alien moment. I'm into the green. Why are you removing it? I mean, the black and green combo isn't my favorite thing in the entire world, but I do enjoy it. It's fun. What is the issue? What are we trying to do here? I like it, but I think it's time to just go blonde again. We're trying to go blonde? You're trying to do what to your hair? You're trying to remove all that green and all all that black color, good luck. And good luck with the green section not breaking off. Like, I don't know how you're gonna accomplish this. Fingers crossed for you, you can do something. I truly don't know what you're gonna do though. This is a task. And then the yellow fadiness up here is not good. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but in person it looks very warm golden up here. I'm not living for the multiple different colors in the green section. Like it goes from yellow to like lime green to a faded kind of blue green. I would prefer if it was all one color green, you know what I mean? Because I did have orange in it before the green and the green was supposed to neutralize some of that orange. So we'll see what happens.
happens. It is very dry. So it's dry, it's green, it's got all types of banding going on. It's got blue, it's got black. Whoa, pick your battles. Cause right now we have like 15 of them. I decided I was going to dish soap and clarify shampoo this to try to get it out without using a remover. And it dried my hair out, especially the ends. Like my roots are usually pretty oily, so I'm not worried about that. But the ends are kind of dry. So hopefully this doesn't damage it too much over here. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get this green out. All right, tell me what the removal method is gonna be. Is it going to be vitamin C and dandruff shampoo? Is it gonna be bleach? Is it going to be color oops? Which one? Because it's always one of those three. I got the egg smell and stuff. I got some color oops. It's the color oops. I like color oops. It works well. It can really get that shit out of your hair. I'll tell you. I've had some crazy shit happen when I was younger and that shit. I need to stop saying shit. I got all the shits out of me. Okay, when I was younger, I used to use that stuff and it worked well. In case you've never used color oops before, it is very liquidy. It always wants to make a mess and it smells like rotten eggs. Don't start with your roots. I should just have a t-shirt that says that. Oh, that'd be kind of cute. Somebody make me a t-shirt that says don't start at the roots. Um, thanks. Cause I don't want to make it myself cause I'm too lazy. The heat from your scalp is going to make it process faster and it's going to end up lighter up there than it is in the rest of the hair. Not a great idea. Start at the mid shafts and then work towards the ends and then lastly do the roots, but only until you've had the mids and ends on for a little bit of time. It's hard to give you guys like a really specific timing on these things because it's different for everybody. It's kind of an extreme color mover to be using on this situation. Guy Tang makes a great one. Oh, also in Malibu makes a great one. These two things, I use them every time I have an oopsie on my own head or somebody else is and I need to get a color out really quickly. These are great. The Guy Tang one is very strong. It can take out literally anything, but the Malibu one you can use on your regrowth and it will not lighten your natural color. It'll only take out the artificial. So it's great. Also Color Oops is formulated for permanent dyes. It should be able to remove the fun colors too because they're not as hard penetrated into the hair and we can tell it's kind of turning yellowy especially towards the ends here it looks blonder it's doing something i'm not sure what yet but it's something i'm a little nervous also with color remover it's kind of interesting because it'll be on your head and you, it'll look like it's not doing anything right like the color will still be there but then you rinse it with very hot water for you know like a few minutes or up to, up to like five to ten minutes and the color will keep coming out and that is because that cuticle is like brrr, open and it is just letting all that artificial color run out of the hair. I got it. Okay, cool. I really want it to be a cool toned white again. So we're gonna see how long it takes me to go back to that. A cool tone who? How are you gonna do that to your own hair at home? I washed out the color oops and I used purple shampoo to like really wash it out of my hair very well. And it kind of turned this piece blue in the front, which is a cool tone. So that's progress rather than being yellow, but it's still not great. Okay, let's come over here, guys. Come over here. Don't do that. Don't rinse out the remover and then use purple shampoo. Your hair right now is ready to grab onto anything. So if you put purple shampoo on right now, it is going to grab that purple or that blue pigment. And that is what happened. Don't do that. Just use a regular shampoo. A hydrating shampoo or a repair shampoo is great for this scenario. Also, it didn't do anything. Did you leave it on long enough? What happened there? Cause it really should have done something. So I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the L'Oreal color remover, a little drop of K18 conditioner and some 30 volume developer. Yes, 30 is a high developer and my hair is already dry. I may damage it, but I want my blonde hair back. Oh! Okay, we're using 30 volume and bleach and conditioner. Conditioner in a bleach formula does nothing. The bleach just eats the conditioner. There's no point of it. You know, you can use something like Olaplex or any kind of bond building product to put inside of it that is made for that, but putting conditioner in it is not going to help your hair in any way. I mean, if she really wants that green out, then yeah, you gotta go in with some bleach. I don't know what else she's gonna do at this point. She's tried it all. I'm a little scared. She could put a very light red color over her hair, like a very pastel red, even pink, and it would neutralize it and it might turn it a kind of grayish color that she's looking for. So that could also be an option. But as of right now, I think she has to neutralize some of that green first, but she's not going to. See, I could use this gray stuff and make the hair a cool tone, but it's not bright enough. I also have a purple mask, purple shampoo, clarifying shampoo. What are we using the purple shampoo for? Your hair is not blonde and purple cancels out yellow and your hair is green. Well, I don't know if the K18 shampoo is technically a clarifying shampoo, but it's a detox, so. 
Oh, you're starting at the root again. Please make it stop. I knew this was gonna happen, that it was gonna be hard to remove. I don't know. I just thought it'd be fun to do something different. I feel you though, girl. Like sometimes you just wanna be blonde no matter what it takes. I get it. And I'm only gonna leave this on for maybe five minutes because I am using a stronger developer. Maybe I should have ordered a toner. I think that's the least of your worries right now. <laughs> the toning part, we, that can come later, girl. Right now, I don't even know how you're gonna get this shit out of your hair. I don't even know if your hair is gonna survive. I feel like this did a really good job. And I also just let it air dry with some leave-in conditioner in. Damn, why was I gonna say the complete opposite? <laughs> Am I looking at the same thing? What? Mm, I'm confused. How? It looks almost the same as before, with a lot more damage and a lot more dryness. So what do you mean it looks a lot better? What are you, what are you talking about? You know, I wasn't gonna not do that because my hair is already dry. We got some yellow roots. We got some white ends, it looks like. We got some green still in there. We got some missing spots where she didn't color it. Ooh, oh, we got a lot going on here. I'm gonna use a little, maybe this little bit of bleach to lighten the areas that were black, like right here. And then I also placed a two hour delivery from Sally's. I ordered some Manic Panic Virgin Snow, which is like a purple based blonde toner dye. And I also ordered a Wella T15 toner, which has reddish pink pigments to the toner to neutralize green. In theory, this could be fine. I just don't think putting purple over this is going to make a, a difference. What you could do is bring you back to a deeper level of blonde. Like I would bring you to like a level seven, which is like this, you know, or like a, a most a level eight, which is like this. I don't think I'll go any beyond that, but we could just do like a root shadow and then put like a level eight slash seven through the ends. A little bit of a speck of red in there to cancel out the green. And you would probably end up with a nice neutralized blonde and you could make it pretty even, but that's also really difficult. And I don't think you're gonna do that at home. Oh, by the way, I thought she was coloring her entire head blonde. Thank God. It's just that one section. She was think making me think she's gonna do the black side too. Girl, uh-uh. All right, so I left that on for a very negligible amount of time. You can still tell it's a lot more golden, but it was black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the toner thing from Manic Panic. This is Virgin Snow. It's gonna turn my hair in purple and it's not gonna be even. It's gonna look like a wild mess, but hopefully it'll neutralize a lot of the green and yellow tones. So as long as it cools it down, I'm okay looking like a mess for a little bit. At least it's not like neon green anymore. I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit, wash my hands off. Here is the finished hair. Honestly, this underside is still very green and yellow. The purple toner from Manic Panic, I didn't have much faith in. Honestly, it wasn't for the green. Again, it's not gonna neutralize the green. I need a red to neutralize the green, but I wasn't willing to do that warm color. The purple toner neutralized a lot of the yellow, which helped. Down here, it's kind of a purpley, beautiful iciness. And up here, it has some discoloration stuff, but it looks better. Down here, I will do that Wella toner, probably. I might, I don't know. Or maybe I'll just try that uh, Panic Panic again. Maybe the purple Olaplex shampoo just to get some of the yellow out. But I like it a lot. I just, it's just a good contrast. I love a good contrast. That's why I love everything black and white. It's just like, <laughs> okay, well, the results were definitely not ideal. It looks fine. And I think we're in agreement with that, right? I don't know. Next time we go green, Bridget, we need to really think about this one because green is a tough color to get out. They're really all tough to get out, to be honest with you. Like, no matter it's semi, demi, permanent, it's all gonna be a bit scary to get out. But you did something, and it is blonde. I guess. Good job. You really threw me for a loop on that one, though. Up next, we have a video by a repeat offender of hair atrocities. Crystal Lindy, did you guess it? <laughs> hey guys, how are you? It's Lindy, you welcome to a new video. I love the blue on her. How do you still have hair on your head? So today I'm going to try and remove it without using bleach. The first method that I'm going to use today is I'm going to make a concoction with my anti-dandruff shampoo, vitamin C tablets. Anybody who knows me knows I hate this method. <laughs> ah, it doesn't do anything. I've yet to see one person have a good result from vitamin C. Dish washer soap. Oh, she's gonna dry out her hair so bad. She's crushing up the vitamin C powder in a blender and then she's gonna mix it all together. Also, I have absolutely no idea what like the ratio should be Nobody does, Crystal. Nobody does. <laughs> so I'm literally just doing whatever right now. That's what everybody does. So you're good. You're good. You're Gucci. You're Gucci. My goal is to be platinum blonde at like five o'clock. Oh, good luck with that. <laughs> My hair feels horrible right now. Help me. Oh, you just wait to see what it feels like when you rinse that out. It's going to feel horrible. 
all. I'm just going to let this sit in my hair for an hour and then I'm going to wash it off under the shower. This method, you don't actually have to leave it on your hair. All you gotta do is shampoo your hair with it multiple times in a row and that's how it's going to start to lighten your hair. But leaving it on your head is not gonna do anything. It's not hair color. It doesn't lift or deposit tone. It doesn't do anything like that. I am wearing my beautiful hair dyeing and bleaching t-shirt right now, which obviously means that the adventure has not come to an end yet. It didn't do anything. I just rewinded the video. It didn't do anything. This is what it looked like at the beginning of the video and this is what it looks like now. I don't think it did anything. It did take out some of the color. I didn't really get the results that I hoped for. Also, yes, this is what my hair looks like naturally. Now our hair is drier and it's still the same damn color. Uh, the next method that I'm going to do is the baking soda and peroxide method. And it barely strips the color out of your hair. It's not damaging to the hair either because peroxide isn't damaging. It is like the bleach powder that damages damages your hair and not the peroxide but I still I feel like it's not gonna <laughs> make my hair feel any better now we're getting into some peroxide we're using 20 volume peroxide with <laughs> baking soda I think I've never heard of that and it's just and I do not like this process at all. But yeah, I'm just going to leave this on my hair for about the two to three minutes. And then I'm going to wash it out again. And then I can see what it's gonna look like. Now this one, you should leave it on your hair for longer than just a minute. Cause peroxide does lift open the cuticle. I don't know what's gonna happen. That seems like a scary mixture. Peroxide and baking soda? I've never in my life heard of that. My hair is still blue. <laughs> I mean, I can see that it has become a little bit lighter. Oh, it didn't do anything. I got my hair color remover. I really do not want to do this, but it's my last resort, okay? I just really do not want to use bleach. Okay, we're moving on to actual color remover, which this could actually change our hair. Here we go. Her hair is so dry. I'm so scared for her hair. Now using color remover, it's gonna make it even drier. It's gonna be like, please stop putting stuff on me. Uh, the thing about these color removers is that they're actually um, not meant to go on fashion colors. But you know, I've tried it before and I saw some results. So I'm just going to try it anyways. No gloves while we're using color remover? <laughs> Crystal, put some gloves on. I need to let this sit in my hair for 30 minutes and then I need to rinse it out for about like 20 minutes and I literally do not see any difference at all right now but you know maybe it's gonna work I mean it definitely did become a little bit lighter but still it is so incredibly blue but uh, there's one more thing that I'm going to do even though I said that the last color remover was going to be the last thing uh, I kind of thought that, that would work better crazy color back to base remover another random remover another random remover all right I mean what what else is she gonna do I mean it's probably the safest option for her at this point so you're basically just supposed to mix it with peroxide and then put it in your hair and it takes the color out of your hair. Uh-oh, and the color remover is going on her roots too, and that's where her natural hair is. It's gonna lighten her natural hair to yellow, and it's just gonna be a disaster. I swear to God, this is just bleach. It's not a color remover. Nothing on here says that it's supposed to be bleach. But if you look at my roots, look how much they are lifting. And I tried to not put it on my roots, but I thought it's not bleach. So it's not gonna be like, you know, I thought it's gonna lift the color a little bit, but only like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Crystal. You can't put color remover on your roots, on natural color, it will lighten it. It is spread out so incredibly uneven. So now I'm not only going to have bleached hair, now I'm also going to have like the most ridiculous roots ever because they are gonna be so incredibly uneven. And I was planning on just using actual bleach to bleach my roots next week. Cause I had the whole idea of like how I could make it as beautiful as possible. And now I just have, oh my God. Oh my God, that sucks so much. Um, um, I am back, as you can see. And my hair is not blue anymore. Oh my god. It's a little bit green though. <laughs> the color remover did actually work. But it is just bleach. I don't know why they call it color remover. Yes, my roots are lighter, but they are not as light as I want them to be. But you know, the blue is 
out of my hair. So I feel like I shouldn't complain as much, but it just really didn't go the way that I planned. By the way, I don't know if you can actually see it, but my hair is pretty damaged right now. Like it feels really, really, really dry. I wanted to get the blue out of my hair without any damage, but that didn't happen. Oh my God. Luckily she has kind of an even color all around and now she can just tone it as well as bleach her roots again because they are yellow baby um the result was not ideal but it did remove the blue god i feel so bad how long she spent doing that that was torturous just to watch never mind actually do it crystal stop well those were three disasters i'm glad you survived those painful situations and I hope your hair is okay. Something tells me you guys probably did more to your hair after this though. It's fine, I get it. Anyways, if you guys wanna shop my hair care or my hair color so your hair doesn't end up like this, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.